Okay, we're at 52.4 volts there. Over here, we're at 52.4. And uh, I showed you how the voltage parameters work. And what else I'm using on the unit is um, I'm also using the timer, and I went and changed it so I could show you guys. Uh, in this mode, PA, I won't show you that, it's boring, but you can ha set the uh, digital display to be on constantly one minute through nine minutes. And um, optical illusion looking through here. And uh, what the hell did I just do? Okay, I changed it. Okay, P8. We'll go ahead and go in there. Okay. D1. Okay, D1 is one minute. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero is on constantly. And then we'll go back into. Now when we go to, still learning how to use this thing, I get confused on the button sometimes. And we'll go to P1, P1 is the uh, timer. So that's why I have it marked here, P3, P1. Just put it on P3, it's fully automatic. I don't have to touch it, but say you got a couple cloudy days, hot, wa hot water's not so hot, you come in here, you hit this button, fires up the system for whatever, up to nine, 999 minutes. Uh, and uh, I've had it set to 45, maybe an hour, uh, just depend, depending on what, but the uh, thing works awesome. Now I've got the breaker off now. We'll turn the breaker on to the hot water heater, and then we'll go back here, and we'll hit this. You'll hear the pit fire up. The cooling fans are kicking on. And it was drawing a thousand watts at 20 amps. I've checked it several times. That's what it's saying from this unit here. Thousand watts, 20 amps. And uh, what I, what's happening? Also, this is like a two-stage charge controller for my charger. Um, so we go to back to P3. And now it's back to being a voltmeter, volt control, which be fully automatic, don't have to touch it. Now that extra solar energy that's coming in will go into the hot water heater. Because once the batteries are charged, I'll be bringing in 40, 45 amps sometimes. The batteries will charge. And then if this thing kicks on right before full charge, which is 54.4, it drops the amps, which drops the voltage spike or the voltage peak you get from charging with a lot of amps it drops it so it stays in uh, it stays in um, bulk charge longer before it goes into absorb and then float so I'm actually in turn getting a better charge on the batteries it's getting a stronger charge uh, my voltage is staying higher longer I've noticed right after I started doing this manually uh, from the breaker so I was just turning it on and off at certain voltages and uh, it'll run uh, when the sun's out and, and we're here in Florida so the sun's out a lot and on sunny days it was just charging the batteries by 11.30 and I'd even be running the AC, have fully charged batteries and still be losing you know 8, 10, 12 amps, whatever. This way I'll be har harnessing a lot more energy even if I'm not here always have hot water and uh, I've got the system pretty dialed and I'm pretty happy with it uh, you know I can't wait to get this paneling back on all this wiring buttoned up uh, when I pull the, this when I put the other I'm waiting to get the other PIP unit and then uh, I'll put all this wiring that you see that's kind of messy here will go in behind the paneling. I'm kind of already marking out where I want to put the outlets and stuff here and uh, where I'm going to run the wires through and get her all buttoned up. 
get all these wires from the solar panels coming out. I left them extra long so I could have plenty of room to run them over to these units. And uh, I only have half my system up, half my solar panels. Only half the job is done, so we're getting there.